little jaunt and Bobby as usual. We've only just come from over here, we're not going too far, we've come in a different way to it today. It's not too far of a walk, it's about a walk or miles or something like that. So uh, weathered up look all that clever looks like it's chucking now. Fetch no water, we're gonna try these filters out. Out to the stream. So when we get set up guys we'll we'll bring you back later on. We're heading for over there. Somewhere around that corner somewhere. Try and get out of wind. Might have to go in a different place because it's uh, westerly, so that means it's gonna come straight in. So we might try and get further into sidewoods like so. Right, we'll see you later on. There we are guys basically about set up got Lee over there with his, his little hammock chair and his basher over the top of it and his 10th wonder green on it with his Cornelius tarp we've put it in uh, diamond configuration as it wouldn't have covered him otherwise I don't think on the way we set up so uh, and this is my setup basically the same as last time 10th wonder snow pack and uh, DD tarp this time which is a little bit too big for what I want really but there you go <coughs> we're gonna go and get some uh, water if you don't see it lads this will be <laughs> if that water's not very good it'll be the last video you'll see her us doing <laughs> and there'll be some nice free kit going spare yeah, yeah. ring me wife hope she'll get you <laughs> yeah so we're gonna go and get some water out in this mucky old skanky stream and uh, and see how we get on. Not a bad day. It's a bit been a bit breezy, but it's not too bad here now. We've had a bit of rain this morning, but it don't look too bad. It's only forecast ten percent chance of rain, so that's not too bad. Uh, uh, I'll do a review on this hammock chair as well uh, that I had custom made for Matt at UK Hammocks. That's ukhammocks.co.uk. Uh, uh, brilliant tool, guys. Fantastic chair. For and the only twelve pound fifty. Absolutely unbelievable. And I'll show you mine later on. Anyhow, it's because uh, I have mine custom made for mine. And mine were only still twelve pound fifty, same price. Machine guy. So, we'll uh, I'll show you all that later on. So right, we'll catch you later on, guys. We'll see you later on. Back again guys, we just had a visit from Gamekeeper, who we know was alright. We just had a visit from Farmer, who was just driving his uh, tractor. So anyhow, back to what I was going to do. Uh, outdoor enthusiast, he showed me one of these and this thing, I've got it in a waterproof bag. It's 18.3 at the moment, 48% humidity. And it's eight minutes past three as you can see. Great to have hung up like. I don't know whether they'll be any good in winter or what, I don't know like. We'll have to see. So you come out for a rest and everybody in the grandmothers comes out to talk to you like. So it's supposed to be out of way. It's a good job we're not stealth camping guys. Every bug has seen us today. So <laughs> we've seen everybody. So we'll have to see what happens now. See if anybody else comes. He's just seen a monk jack as he was stood here. On the corner of this field up here. So right, we'll see you later on guys. There we are guys, just got an upside down fire. Just going right that. I'm going to make some uh, char cloth in a bit, I've run out. I'll fetch my little shoe polish tin and we all in the top of it and a bit of 100% cotton old t-shirt. So, all sat comfy now at last. Apart from the tractor farmer, but I've been talking to him. I don't think he'd be that long, hopefully. So, we're all set, all these chilling over there, look. He's having a relax. So is Bob. And so am I. Lovely. Nice chill out. Right guys, we'll catch you later on. Lee's loot using Thirst Aid, filtered water, 
have to fill it up again in a bit. She's about out, so I'll put another, another load in. Just going to have a brew now. A brew. Oh. Fire, fire is lovely. A cracking fire, upside down fire. It's not far off gone. Got rid of the farmer, the farmer's <laughs> gone now, thank God. So. <coughs> Talks about me with stuff, he's carried all this, he's even got a little table with him, look. Yeah, got all your table. Oh. <coughs> Only stove and pocket rocket and all sorts. <laughs> All set up well. Keep getting a few branches crashing off further up, but we're all right here. We've looked over, checked all the way around, we're all right. So, all right, guys, we'll fetch you back later on. All right, guys, just to show you that Aldi's have got these in now, these pour and store. Brilliant for bringing curries out here or whatever. Just put your stuff in, look how wide they come. Spaghetti bolognese, curries, soups or whatever. And they just seal up and put them in the freezer, boil it bag or whatever. And then you wash them out, reusable. So they call them pour and store and Aldi's got them in at the moment. And also some of what I got yesterday for <coughs> an offer for £1.40. Zap it, they call them. And they're a, a mosquito bite relief. If you get a bit of a mosquito, you just push it, put it on your arm and press it four or five times and it's supposed to take all the sting out and swelling out of your mosquito. I yet to try it, but you ain't got no mozzies up here, it's a bit like so we're alright. So whether they're any good or not, I don't know, but for £1.40 we'll give it a try. But they're definitely worth money then guys. They're £1.19 for eight. And it's cheapest I've seen them, usually about a fiver. So £1.19 for eight from Aldi's. And also, for you guys that bought them uh, sandies from Aldi's, they've got, they're have got selling uh, sanding discs and everything with it now, you know, all to belts and whatever for it. So if you go in there on offer and all now, like, but I definitely recommend them, them pour and store. I don't know about that zap it yet, we haven't tried it, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching, we'll see you later. Another one. Morning, guys. Just got up and it's uh, quarter past seven. Lovely morning. Well, he's just uh, filtering a bit of water for, for the drink. So, had a good night. Good night's kip. Nice and warm. It went down to about nine and a half degrees, I think it went down to, but it was still lovely and warm like. I didn't even get it sleeping by last night, so. And that's remnants of fire still smoking. So uh, that's about it, guys. We have a bit of brekkie. I've got some porridge this morning. And then uh, that's it. I'm going to pack up and walk back. So, right, guys, we'll see you later. There we are guys, Lee's cooking his breakfast. Morning. What is it Lee? What is it Evie? It's a travel light. Uh, what was it? Bacon and fried potatoes. Bacon and fried potatoes and I've had bloody porridge. And you'll be having some of this because it's a bloody big <laughs> bag full. He's got to be home in a bit, it'll be here well half past two eating that lot. Cooking it on wild stove. Like I said, Bobby's not very far away from Lee, look, he's his best mate. It's been a good time, we've enjoyed it, it's been great. 
I shall do a full review guys on that uh, pure hydrations uh, first aid and uh, aqua pure traveler when I get home so this will be the first video and then I'll do that after that one just to let you know how it's got on brilliant but so as you can see it's a lovely morning beautiful slight little bit of a breeze blowing but not much just nice about packed away got my tarp to take down I'm going to LNT with fire and we're about sorted well, Lee's had a good time and both enjoy it, it's been great nice change to come somewhere different from Basil like <coughs> so if you can zoom in on it Lee Smells like being at Skeggy Front with onions. There might be too much in there. <laughs> Bob's living in hope. Lucky Bob. Might be, might not. <laughs> right guys, we'll see you later on. Cheerio. Here we are guys, nearly back. That's uh, where we're heading for that little wood now. We've been that wood there, see that corner of that wood there, end of that track be far side of that like so we ain't got too far to walk this way enjoy it's been all right spot on time all right lads we'll see you later <laughs>